There is now a robot that has been trained to read Braille. Artificial intelligence can help improve ovarian cancer diagnosis. The week gone by was buzzing with a lot of exciting tech developments and we bring you the most interesting ones in our tech wrap. Stellantis' Peugeot brand is planning to use ChatGPT to improve the voice assistant in its cars and vans. Peugeot has launched a pilot version of the ChatGPT service, which will be able to connect to vehicle controls and answer many general or navigation-related questions. The service, which has been introduced in five countries, France, Britain, Germany, Italy and Spain, is planned to become standard equipment this year. The French brand is joining rivals such as Volkswagen and Mercedes-Benz in tapping the popular AI chatbot. Researchers at the University of Cambridge have developed a new robotic sensor that incorporates artificial intelligence techniques. Its USB is that it can read Braille at twice the speed of humans. The robot can read the Braille at 315 words per minute with close to 90% accuracy. The research team has used machine learning algorithms to teach the robotic sensor to slide over lines of Braille text. The robot Braille reader has not been developed as an assistive technology. Instead, this breakthrough has implications for developing sensitive robotic hands and prosthetics. A Delaware judge has struck down the Tesla CEO's massive compensation package. According to the judge, Elon Musk is not entitled to the landmark compensation package awarded by Tesla's board of directors, which is potentially worth more than $55 billion. The ruling comes more than five years after a shareholder lawsuit targeted Tesla CEO Musk and the company's directors. They were accused of breaching their duties to the maker of electric vehicles and solar panels, resulting in a waste of corporate assets and unjust enrichment for Musk. Payments firm PayPal is going to reduce its global workforce by 9% in 2024. This means about 2,500 jobs at the company will be affected. The decision has been made to right-size the company through both direct cuts and the elimination of open roles throughout the year. The global AI race for supremacy is intensifying. China is striving to catch up with the US in AI development. The country has approved more than 40 artificial intelligence models for public use in the first six months since authorities began the approval process. Chinese companies have been rushing to develop AI products ever since OpenAI's chatbot, ChatGPT, took the world by storm in 2022. One of China's leading ChatGPT-like chatbots, Baidu's Ernie Bot, has garnered more than 100 million users. Interestingly, India has also emerged as a significant player in the global landscape of artificial intelligence. Ovarian cancer is a leading cause of cancer deaths in women. It is described by researchers as a silent killer. Why? It's typically asymptomatic in the first place. And it can rarely be found during a routine pelvic exam. But it seems that may not be a challenge in the future. In a development that could transform cancer diagnostics, scientists at Georgia Tech have achieved a breakthrough. They are utilizing the power of artificial intelligence in the early detection of ovarian cancer. Researchers claim an accuracy of 93%. This represents a major leap in the early detection of ovarian cancer and holds promise for other forms of cancer as well. According to a study by French and German music societies, more than two-thirds of musicians fear 
that artificial intelligence will make it impossible to make a living. Based on a survey of more than 15,000 people in the industry, France's society of authors, composers and music publishers and its German equivalent GEMA say that 71% of respondents fear they would no longer make ends meet in the future. The study has also found that 35% are already using AI in a large number of areas related to music creation.